Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to just quickly share some tips on rigging up curly tail baits or curly tail grubs. These that I have here in particular in this video, this is the four inch gulp swimming mullet in the white pearl color. Uh, this is one of my favorite types of curly tail grubs to use, and they are great for you know redfish, snook, uh, sea trout, flounder. Also, this is my go-to choice for small tarpon in backwater canals. So very ideal lure, very versatile for inshore fishing. Now, when rigging these up, I prefer to use jig heads. I do not use, you know, weedless wide gap hooks with these baits. Jig heads is definitely the way to go when using these. And there are two colors that I prefer to use. You know, it's going to vary from person to person. Everybody has their own preferences. But if I have uh, these two colors in my box, pretty much good to go. You know, a chartreuse color or a... Uh, you know, red colored jig head. Now also, as far as the weight goes, anything from one eighth or heavier is going to be ideal. And that's going to vary depending on depth and current. So just keep that in mind. Now, as far as the rigging goes, there are actually two ways you can rig uh, these curly tail grubs on jig heads. You know, you can rig them the traditional way, which would be just standard, go through the front or the head of the bait slide it up onto the jig head and one thing you want to make sure of just like with any other soft plastic is that that lure is nice and straight once it's rigged up you know you want it straight lengthwise and you also want it straight you know from side to side you want that hook point to go right down the middle of the bait that'll help that bait track straight and keep it from spinning too much also, when selecting the size of your jig head, you want to make sure that hook point doesn't get too close to the tail because that will definitely affect the action. I like that hook point to come out pretty much right behind the belly of the bait where it starts to get a little bit thinner where the tail's at. You know, again, not too close to the tail because if you have that hook point too close to the middle of these baits because they're pretty, uh, you know, wide bodied, it's going to be hard to get a really good hook set because a lot of that plastic is going to be in the way. You don't have a big gap between the plastic and the hook point. So just keep that in mind. You want to have a good amount of space between the body of the lure and the hook point there. Now, another way to rig these up, which I've shown in other videos, you know, rigging baits upside down. The reason you would want to do this with these types of baits is to keep that tail from getting hung up on the hook. A lot of times when you're using this bait, just go ahead and show you here, but when you are when you have it rigged up the traditional way, you know, with the tail facing up, a lot of times when you're twitching and retrieving that bait, that tail might get caught on the actual hook. So to help avoid that, you can actually rig these upside down. So just, just the opposite, you know, go through the head of the bait, and then out through the bottom of the bait or the belly of the bait and then push it up. And as you can see now, that tail is facing down. It really won't get in the way of the hook and it will still have the same action. You know, when that bait is going through the water, that tail is out to the rear uh, like so. Doesn't matter if it's upside down or right side up, that tail is gonna look the same. The bait will have the same action. So again, just some quick tips for rigging up these curly tail baits. I know I've had quite a few questions about this uh, in some recent videos that I've done for our Insider Club where I do uh, on the water reports. I've been using these baits to catch uh, some really nice fish and I've had some questions about rigging them up. And also, if you're interested in seeing those reports, definitely be sure to check out our Salt Strong Insider Club where we basically guarantee you'll start catching more fish in less time. So definitely check that out. So that will wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, if you have any additional tips for rigging up curly tail baits, such as a gulp swim and mullet, definitely let us know in the comments down below. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.